I left that yogurt store and didn't get the yogurt that I wanted. And then I had a hard time the rest of the weekend to be totally transparent. And that's probably something that nobody wants me to say. Like I'm, I don't know, but I'm human and I talk about my struggles and I'm passionate. So I'm sorry that I got the messaging wrong. I'm sorry that I may have disappointed some people, but I'm not coming after a small business as someone with a lot of followers. That's not what I'm doing here. Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm talking about something that's really fucking weird and I never thought it could possibly be a topic. So just to give some clarity, I did not used to dislike Demi Lovato, but she's an idiot. The bitch has proven herself to be an idiot one too many times for me to support. She thinks she's so woke and educated and fucking aware of what's going on in the world when she could not be more out of touch. When I was like 16, 17, you can best believe I fucking loved me some Demi Lovato. And don't forget, you know. Did you forget? Did you forget? About me. About me. 16 year old Sam fucking lived for that shit, okay? And also, I had an eating disorder at one point. Honestly, most girls and a lot of guys do. Nothing to be self righteous about. It's not cute to use it as an excuse to be an asshole. Now, I don't know if people in her life are genuinely telling her that everything she's saying and doing as of late is the right thing to do, the smart thing to do, or even factually correct. But my point was, I used to really like Demi Lovato. I could relate to her. I liked her voice. She makes completely shit music now in my opinion. Um, she has a great voice and doesn't use it properly. She makes it into like dance music. It's like Wow, we didn't have enough of that. What she did this week really isn't surprising. And as far as I'm concerned, the situation isn't much different than basically anything that's happened for the past like three, four or five years. Woke culture is stupid. It's been stupid. It's funny to me when things like this happen because then they realize like, oh, she's a little too sensitive, but it's like, you created this monster. Why aren't you supporting her? You created this shit. What I find so funny about these situations is when a woke celebrity who usually gets praise for all the awareness they're bringing um, gets slammed suddenly because they went a little too fucking far. Went around them in their little woke circle. They are like, whoa, whoa, you went too far. When in reality, any one of these people, any other celebrity, it could have been any of them. They all do this kind of shit. They created this monster and then they are like, whoa, 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 too far, bro. It's like that, that doesn't exist for you people. Don't act like it does now. Don't act like it does now. So I'm just gonna shut the fuck up. I'm gonna finally get to the fucking point. Sorry, my bad. Um, how the fuck are you gonna live in the freest country in the world and get upset about frozen fucking yogurt? I need an explanation, like a legitimate one, not her fucking bullshit. I had an eating disorder. Haven't we all, bitch? The world is not here to appease you and all your fucking triggers. How the fuck do you have the audacity to bash a small business with like six or 7,000 followers on Instagram, that's it, to your over 100 million followers during a fucking pandemic when these people, in most cases, are struggling, how the fuck are you gonna do that and then play a victim? Dick move. So Demi Lovato put this on her Insta story. Finding it extremely hard to order Froyo from the Big Chill Official when you have to walk past tons of sugar-free cookies slash other diet foods before you get to the counter. Do better, please. Hashtag diet culture vultures. So I think I'm gonna have to make that hashtag a thing. I will be calling harmful messaging from brands or companies that perpetuate a society that not only enables but praises disordered eating. Hashtag diet culture vultures. And this frozen yogurt shop actually responded in theirs. We carry items for diabetics, celiac disease, vegan, and of course have many indulgent items as well. All I have to say about this, who the fuck is a millionaire? Like, doesn't really have to work anymore if they don't want to. 
has all the means to get all the help in the world they want. But still chooses to get triggered this deeply by frozen yogurt. How the fuck do you even go to a grocery store then? How the fuck do you do anything if this is this deeply upsetting for you? I can't tell if you just wanted attention, if you're this entitled, or just this stupid. But this is not realistic to like in any way for people to live and function. This is fucking ridiculous. She went on and shared some more screenshots of her and this yogurt shop's messages back and forth. And yogurt shop tried to break it down in the most simple terms they could for this idiot by saying, hey, there are other people that come in our shop besides you, Demi, and they might have health issues that they need to go around but still want frozen yogurt. Why is it about you? Why is it about eating disorders instead of you not realizing you're not the only person in the world and not everyone is like you or that easily triggered? We are not diet vultures. We cater to all of our customers' needs for the past 36 years. We are sorry you found this offensive. Not just that, your service was terrible, so rude. The whole experience was triggering and awful. You can carry things for other people also. Caring for another percentage of your customers who struggle daily just to even step foot in your store, you can find a way to provide an inviting environment for all people with different needs, including eating disorders, one of the deadliest mental illnesses. Only second to opioid overdoses. Don't make excuses, just do better. I was thinking maybe it would help if you made it more clear that the sugar-free options and vegan options are for that. Labeling it the snacks for celiac or diabetes or vegans when it's not super clear the messaging gets confusing and being in LA it's really hard to distinguish diet culture versus health needs. I think clearer messaging would be more beneficial for everyone. You aren't wrong for, for catering to many different needs but it's about not excluding one demographic to cater to others. Attempting to attack and bring awareness to the negative messaging from the small business during a pandemic is not just idiotic it's beyond idiotic. It's beyond selfish, it's beyond stupid, and it's beyond any other adjective that comes to your mind when you hear about this fucking nonsense that this bitch is spewing all over the internet for no fucking reason except that she's so fucking mentally weak. Basically, Demi Lovato needs to shut the fuck up, get a reality check, like get <laughs> smacked back into reality because she's clearly fucking left the place. I'm honestly surprised one human being can be this stupid. How, like, where does it go? How does it, how does she hold all of this stupidity inside of her all at once? Sadly, sadly, Demi didn't stop there. She should have, but she didn't. She did not. She put a video on Instagram Live or Twitter, one of the two. Honestly, I probably wouldn't have made a video about this if she had not done this. But this was just, you need to realize when you're wrong. You really do. Because growth and real change can never happen if you keep putting the blame on other people instead of just becoming a stronger human being. No one's gonna accommodate for you. Not like that. That, all of this, she should have just shut the fuck up, said, you know what, maybe I was wrong. Even if she didn't want to admit complete fault, she could have said, hey, maybe I misunderstood and I'm just gonna stop talking about this now. My bad. But she did not. She went and made a video it's not because I'm looking out to everything that I'm doing is well intentioned. You have to understand. It's. Just I saw clips earlier and I watched it all the way through just now twice for you guys. It wasn't that long, but it felt like fucking forever. You know. I know that people struggle with froyo, with eating disorders. So that's why I'm super sensitive when I walk into a froyo place and I see diet stuff. Like I'm gonna be protective. I'm protective of the little girl inside of me that didn't get that representation at a young age of someone saying, all of this diet stuff is not okay. You're worth more than that. I also am standing up for just anyone who struggles in LA. Like this is a, this, you know what? The whole country, fuck it. Like she wanted to make it clear that she's sorry, very sorry if the message she was trying to put out there got misconstrued, but she just didn't understand because of their wording that all of these were for health reasons. Yeah, I'm going into a Froyo shop, I'm seeing sugar-free, I'm seeing this and that. If, I, if there was a sign that said celiac, vegan, I would have understood, that would have been clear messaging to me. Because it wasn't clear, I'm 
definitely jumped to conclusions and probably shouldn't have, you know, gone about this the way that I have, but she could really help them because, you know, she's just so smart. She could really help them with becoming more aware about this kind of stuff and working to fix it so people like her aren't triggered in the future. I will do whatever I can to work with this Froyo shop if they want to, to help align the messaging to where I feel safe going in there and I can eat the Froyo that I went in there for. I will work with them on that. That is something I'm dedicated to do because I want to make LA and this whole country a safer, and this whole fucking world a safer environment. She denied, but she also tries to justify going after the small business publicly because she was triggered so deeply by food. Oh my God. Oh no. The worst thing I have to do all day is eat. I mean, I have this house. I have these friends. I have this money. I'll never have to worry again. I can go anywhere I want. Get to work in one of the most elite spaces in the world. But oh my God, I'm being forced to see like normal people food that I am so mentally weak that I just can't handle it. So like fuck this Froyo place. Oh my God, my life is awful. Poor me. Now I want to make it clear. I advocate fucking hard for the type of messaging that's put out into the world. Cause like I said before, I've had an eating disorder. I still struggle with it now and then it like, you know, it comes up and fucking disturbs my life a little bit, but I don't expect every fucking place I go where people have free fucking will to accommodate me and all my fucking triggers. I hate a lot of the messaging that is put out into the world for women directly. Um, I think a lot of it's disturbing, over the top, and very damaging to young girls' self-esteem. As soon as we hear words, we hear um, all the things that could possibly be wrong with how we look. And every single ad we're sold is how to make ourselves look better, prettier, different. And this isn't that. This isn't that, Demi. You know it's not. And now you hopefully feel fucking stupid for saying such a stupid thing and actually like doubling down on it doubling down i can't believe she did that i really thought at the very least she'd have enough sense to just shut up just shut up don't double down on something this fucking stupid and expect people to be nice about it congratulations you played yourself this isn't negative marketing put out by people like you constantly it's not anything related to body you decided to go to this place you decide you want a frozen yogurt and then you decide to be triggered by it so the yogurt place is at fault if this is where we're at as the country there's a lot of people who agree with this like go to twitter go look at it I, there's so many idiots just like intertwined with us and it's just it's it's disturbing at this point like can we separate like go our separate ways like somehow like just just accept that this isn't gonna work because i can't live with people like that i cannot deal with people like that that is ridiculous and if you disagree with that you're a fucking idiot too probably it, it, this is a hard thing to live with on a daily basis the thing about overcoming my addictions my my drug addictions was because i don't have to I can walk away from that and never touch it again for the rest of my life. Like, I don't ever have to do that, but I have to eat three times a day. This is something that will live, that will be with me for the rest of my life. I left that yogurt store and didn't get the yogurt that I wanted. And then I had a hard time the rest of the weekend. To be totally transparent. The frozen yogurt? Oh my God, you're being forced to eat. During a pandemic when most people are like fucking struggling to like do anything, like pay any bill, fucking pay for their kids shit fucking have a house, a home of any kind, have a vehicle, like get to a job. Like, it, oh my God, you're being forced to eat three meals a day. Well, yeah. If this becomes the norm of society, we're doomed. And I feel like we're really not that far off. Like if we're not already there, so many people just want to feel like the victim so much. Like, when are you going to fucking just be the victor? Like, when can you just be like, not fucking caring about stupid bullshit back there and just like living your life and prospering? Why the fuck are you looking for any opportunity to make yourself a victim? This is, it's pathetic. And we're doomed as a country if this shit continues and does not get called out for what it is. Let me know your thoughts below, whether you agree with me or disagree with me. Um, 
I'd love to hear your reasoning at least why. Um, don't just be a pussy and put a dislike and not tell me why. Tell me your thoughts. <laughs> I hope you liked the video and I promise my next video will be back to my roots. A political video. I fucking promise. I love you guys so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already and you're interested in doing so. Uh, I will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Have a great time.